Welcome and thank you for being here and sharing and kicking off my campaign for City Council at Large. As a veteran, I'd like to take a moment of silence and remembrance for the men and women who are serving and have served in the armed forces. Before I be begin, I would like to acknowledge some people in the attendance. Michael Bargley, candidate for mayor. David Narkowitz, candidate for mayor. Uh, Councilor Jean Tacey, Ward 7. Councilor Marianne Labarge, Ward 6. Uh, Arnie Levison, candidate for council in Ward 3. And Wendy Mazza, city clerk. Thank you for coming. I grew up and graduated not far from here in Hoyoke. After graduation in 1977, I enlisted in the U.S. Navy. I returned to this area in 1985 because my sister was getting married and my mother was sick. Um, after arriving, I enrolled at Hoyoke Community College where I was elected to the college's board of trustees and student government president. As a student trustee and SGA president, I worked to bring students' concerns and problems to the full board, especially trying to lower college fees and tuition. After graduating in 1989, I spent the next 20 years working in management within the food industry. Fifteen years were with Big Y Foods. I also spent the next 20 years continuing my education, graduating from the University Without Walls program with honors at UMass Amherst with a concentration in American Government Studies. I am currently attending Cambridge College and due to graduate with a master's degree in Psychological Studies this coming January. Since 2009, I have worked in the Hampshire Regional School System as a paraprofessional. For the last two years, I have sat on the Ryan Road School Council with some of the best teachers in our school system. My wife and I love Northampton. We choose to live here. We want to live here and we want our children to have the same choice to live here when they are older. We know as other citizens that reside here that Northampton offers so many great things to be proud of. We are proud of our strong school system and the great teachers that our children have had over the years. We enjoy the ambiance of the city with the arts that it has to offer. Paradise City's Arts Festival, first night, week of the young child, and music venues such as the Calvin Theater and the Iron Horse are just a few of the great things our arts community has to offer. We spend a lot of our free time at local restaurants in downtown Northampton. As you can see by my fit and trim body, I immensely enjoy eating out in Northampton. For the first time in many years, the citizens of Northampton are in a position to greatly impact the way it is governed in the future. A new mayor will be elected, a chance to elect a new council. I'd like to be one of those changes. I have talked to many citizens who believe that continuing to do things as usual could put our great city in a precarious situation. Fiscal responsibility is neither liberal nor conservative, Republican or Democrat. It is living within our your means. We must all balance our finances and plan for the future. We can no longer ignore what is happening around us. You just need to look at the federal and state governments to see that times are tough. Recent monies allocated, pro allocated and promised to Massachusetts cities have continued to decline from both the state and federal entities. Gas prices continue to rise and affect our budgeting. As we saw this winter, unforeseen weather can greatly affect us fiscally. I promise to work collectively with the new mayor and council members to find new economic drivers to bring more money into the city of Northampton. Knowing that these are hard times are upon us, it is imperative that we make wise financial decisions to keep this city moving forward in the future. There is evidence that transparency and best practices promised has not materialized. Best practices was created to allow citizens a stronger voice in city decisions. The Bean Allard Farm Purchase has shown how successful best practices can be. Competing interests of citizens and the city came together and worked to give the city and its citizens a shared vision and for working for the future. The city must be consistent in its best practices. Northampton is 
is rich with professionals, business people, and educators who have great knowledge of how we can keep our great city viable and thriving. It is up to us, citizens, businesses, professionals, and the city government to work together for a better future. Massachusetts has a long history of great men who have represented this great state. Adams, Coolidge, Kennedy, O'Neill, and Cabot. In the western part of the state, there was a great leader that was affectionately known as Sill. Former, former Congressman Silvio Conti represented the western part of this state with humbleness and importance to, to his constituents. Problems, concerns, and needs. I had the honor of working for Congressman Conti where, where I worked on veterans issues and observed how he interacted and worked tirelessly for people he served. What is it that the people of Northampton want from someone who represents them? Represents them? We want someone who is committed, open-minded, approachable, and fiscally responsible. This is the way I will represent Northampton. I promise that should the citizens of Northampton put their trust in me by electing me to represent them as their counselor at large, I will re represent them with respect and empathy on the issues that are important to them. I know and understand that we may not always agree, <coughs> but I will listen and you will be heard. I am a registered independent and have always been an independent thinker. I would like to read a quote from a longtime friend, Richard Wheeler, who is a city resident and whom I have worked with at Ohio Community College on budgetary items and students', students issues. When he heard I was running for counselor at large, he said, that's wonderful news for the city. You always were one to come up with new and innovative ideas, support others who had a good plan, and call bull crap at an idea that stunk and or was unfeasible. After a brief conversation about running for public office with my wife, I did all the talking and she listened. Her response was, can we afford to run? And I quickly replied, I can't afford for me not to. I would like to end this speech and leave you with something from former President Teddy Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts. The credit belongs to the man in the arena, whose face is marred by the dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who knows the great euthanisms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, <coughs> at least fails while daring greatly. Thank you, and I look forward to serving you as your next counselor at large.